Matthew 25, verse 14 to 25. Again, the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long journey. He called together his servants and entrusted what? His money to them while he was gone. One says his talent. And we have been taught many years that it's natural talent. Talent of how to sing. It's actually money. In the Bible days, the same word money can be translated talent, treasure. So look at, he gave, he called his servant and committed his money to them. Look at the next verse. He gave five bags of silver to one, two bags of silver to another, and one bag of silver to the last. Dividing it in proportion to their abilities, he then left on his trip. He gave them talents, money, based on their ability. God gives resources, potential, capacity, based on ability. What you can't carry, God will not give to you. He doesn't do it. Look at the next verse quickly. Look. The servants who received five bags of silver began to invest. And the money, uh, uh, began to invest the money and earn five more. Verse 17. The servant with two bags of silver also went to work and earned two more. But the servant who received, what? One bag of silver dug a hole in the ground and eat the master's money. After a long time, the master returned from his trip and called them to what? To give an account of how they had used his money, how they had used his talent. The servants to whom he had entrusted five bags of silver came forward with five more and said, Master, you give me five bags of silver to invest. Why did he give me? To invest, and I have earned five more. Verse 21, the master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. My good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you many more responsibility. Let's celebrate. Verse 22, together. Verse 22. The servant who had received two bags of silver came forward and said, Master, you give me two bags of silver to invest, and I have earned two more. 23. The master said, Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been what? Faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. Everybody say we're celebrating together. The next verse, 24, then the servant with one bag of silver came and said, Master, I knew you were a harsh man, harvesting crops you did not plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. Verse 25, I was afraid and I, will, and I, I, was afraid I would lose your money, so I hid it in the, in the heart. Lord, look, here is your money back. Verse 26, let's see the response. But the master replied, you what? Wicked and what? And lazy servant, if you knew I harvested crops I didn't plant, gathered crops I didn't cultivate. But let's continue. Why didn't you deposit my money in the bank? At least I could have gotten some interest on it. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. We're talking about favor at work this morning. And I tied to my message, the springboard of favor at work. The springboard. The springboard of favor at work. That thing they call springboard is that thing you jump on and it will take you up. The springboard of favor at work. If you want to grow in favor in your workplace, if you want to grow in favor in your business, what is that springboard? Reading through Matthew 25 verse 14 to 25 is very simple. It's the word faithfulness. Everybody say faithfulness. Please say faithfulness. Please say faithfulness. The Bible says in Proverbs that a faithful servant abound in blessing. Wherever you are working, whatever you are doing, whether you are working as a pastor in a ministry or you're working as a, as, a, as a banker in a bank or as a business person in your own personal company, how faithful you are will determine how far you will go. From the story we have read, he said, you have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler. Over what? Many things. So promotion happens through faithfulness. The springboard of favor at work 
is faithfulness. Everybody say faithfulness. What is the meaning of faithfulness? To be faithful means to be loyal and be reliable. No matter what. To be faithful means to be what? Loyal and be what? Reliable. No matter what. The word faithfulness is fading away in our generation. People are no longer faithful. In relationship, people are no longer faithful. In business, people are no longer faithful. Faithfulness is one word that is becoming scarce in our generation. And you cannot enjoy favor, increase in favor without faithfulness. Faithfulness. No matter the level you are, if you are at this ground level, you have to be faithful. Maybe you are a gate man in your work. You have to be faithful. If you are faithful, God will take you to the next. He said, when you are faithful in small things, then I will make you ruler over many things. When you are faithful here, then I take you here. When you are faithful here, then I take you here. When you are faithful here, then I take you here. When our church was less than a hundred, and I was feeling bad that we're less than a hundred, and I went to God in prayer, and God told me, if you are faithful with a few people there, I will increase them. So even church growth is a product of faithfulness. I was thinking we should have 1,000, we should have 1,000. How can we have less than 100? And God said to me, the few, he said, he said, in fact, he told me, he said, you only need one person. He said, if I give you one person, if you feed that, now the job of a pastor is to feed the sheep. If you're faithful in feeding the sheep, if you're faithful in doing your job, he said, I'm going to increase them. So stop complaining about where you are. Start looking at how faithful you are. How loyal, how reliable you are. No matter where you are. No matter, no matter, no matter how somebody say my business is still small. I don't need faithfulness. Until you are faithful with a small business, that business cannot become great. You have to be faithful. You have to be dependable. You have to be reliable. Amen. Praise God. You have to be reliable. You have to be diligent. You have to keep to what you're doing and do it effectively. Nothing great starts great. Anybody who just wake up one day and become great, it won't last. I'm serious. That's why 98% of, of those who inherit wealth, they end up losing it. 98%, according to experts. 98 Can you imagine? 98% of those who inherit inheritance, they lose it. Because they are not faithful. They don't even know how to keep it and multiply it. They are not faithful. It takes faithfulness to grow. How many of us know that tree they call oak tree? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well. O-A-K. Oak. Oak. You know that tree is a big tree. It starts as an high oak. The seed is so small. When the seed is committed into the ground and, it's con and they consistently nurture the seed, what happens to the seed? It will grow. But, but it won't grow overnight and become a oak tree. It will grow from stage to stage. Line must be upon line. Precept must be upon precept. Here a little, there a little. Many of us want things to grow fast. If you grow too fast and you don't learn the art of faithfulness, it will not last. The Bible says inheritance that is gotten hastily will soon develop wings and fly away. Inheritance that is gotten what? Hastily will soon develop wings and fly away. That's why I wish they can ask people like us to talk to our senators for one hour. It's not the money you just pack ooh, that makes you wealthy. There are some level of finance that will come into your life in a rush and can become a problem. Most rich people who didn't grow in faithfulness, who just amounts wealth like that, majority of them have plenty of problems. Is it that their children are not listening to them? Or they don't have a single wife out of all the seven wives they have. Not one is loyal to them. There are things money can't buy, they will not, they, some of them don't have. Because you see, life is about precept, must be what? Upon precept, line must be what? 
upon life. Here a little there. God created the whole world in six days. Do you think God cannot in one day pick everything to be? There will be confusion. So there is, God did it progressively. He created water before he created fish. Because if you create fish, you don't, have not created water. Is that not confusion already? He created oxygen before he created man. Let there be firmament, all those things were oxygen. Let there be. Now, God was progressive. It was precept upon precept, line upon line. If your day, your life is still at that level, be faithful. Job 8, 7 says, though your beginning might be small, your later hand shall greatly increase. Job 8, 7. Don't despise days of little beginning. If your business, as I speak to you, only makes 30,000 at a profit, be faithful. Have account. Be accountable. Be reliable. Don't say it's still small now. Have, have bank account. It shocks me these days that we want to pay some people. They will say, we don't have, I don't have a bank account. And I look at him like, and you are alive. Why are you still alive? When you are no longer participating. You're just marking this. Are you following me? Be faithful. From day one of our church, we have account book. We have treasurer. We have financial secretary. Amen. We have those who handle money. We have those who don't have business handling money. Our account was very simple then, not like now. We have expenditure and uh, how do you call it? income and at least I, that one I know. So I called Pastor Kyle Day. He too knows that one. We, we had a book, a hard copy. We say income, expenditure. Every income, we write it down. Every expenditure, we write it down. At the end of the month, you know how they do income and expenditure. You look at income, you look at expenditure. The Nancy balance brought forward. Huh? I got it. Or did I miss it? I didn't study accounting, but I, it, it was in, important for us to be faithful. So I learned that part. So that I can supervise. I wasn't the one keeping the book, but at least every month they'll bring the book, I'll check. Then I will sign that I have seen it. Then we'll, go to, we'll bring forward whatever is left to the next month. Are you following what I'm saying? From day one, our church, when we collect offering, we don't change money. Because that's where the thing... We don't change money in this church. Somebody one day, <laughs> somebody one day, no matter what, she said she dropped one thousand naira in the offering. She wants to collect offering. We said sorry, that money is gone. Ha! <laughs> she said no, 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 no. I dropped one thousand. We said sorry. Who saw you? Well, we prefer you not to drop anything. Don't come and tell us you drop one thousand. We should give you change. To buy the lumbi kandi kole walking bill. I'm sure she has been using it somewhere where they change money. We have, we have an offering uh, sheet of paper, thank God for those, where we write the denomination. If it's, if it's one, if 500 naira is 100 pieces, we not just write 500 naira, we write 100 pieces. When we pay into our account, this bank sleep and the counter sleep must agree. Even if the total agree, you cannot just tell us that uh, we're on the way to the bank. I help somebody to change 2,000 to 1,000. That's why this 5,000 is short. And it's, it should be the same. No, you have to. You don't have to. Everywhere people do things, jaga, jaga, they don't go far. Jaga, jaga, you say it's a small business. That's why. You have to be faithful. He said, when you are faithful, by what? A few things. Learn to do small things in a great way. That's faithfulness. Doing small things in what? You are managing that business as if it's already Coca-Cola. You are managing that company, that, that position you are, as if you are the CEO, as if you are the owner. You are managing that gate, they say you should mount, as if you are the one mounting the old, the biggest seats. Faithfulness is 
Doing small things in what? In a great way. Everybody say, I'll do small things in a great way. The greatest personality that was ever born to this world, he didn't start as Jesus, the King of Kings. He started as a baby in the manger. Abby? Abby? Jesus didn't start in the palace. And he grew from stage to stage, every stage well managed, every stage faithful. What you are doing currently will soon become a global phenomenon. Amen. You are not saying amen. amen. What you are doing now will soon become a global phenomenon. Amen. Look, I don't care how small it is. I don't care how small the corner you are. This generation will soon listen to you. Amen. You are soon going to become a voice. Amen. You will become the voice. Amen. You won't be an echo. You won't die as an echo. Amen. You can start small, but you are going to become great. Please manage every stage. Be faithful at every stage. Be accountable. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. Many people are not faithful. And that's why they are not moving. Hallelujah. And the reason why they are not faithful, they say, you see, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a, I'm just a git man. My contribution here is so small. I don't need faithfulness. It is when you are faithful as a git man that you'll be promoted to become a great man. No great man is qualified to be a great man without faithfulness. You have to be faithful. Everybody say, I have to be faithful. Did David start as a king? David. Do you know that even after they anointed David as king in 1 Samuel 16, the next chapter, he became an errand boy that was playing music for the king. Do you know that David did not become king until 2 Samuel? In fact, when it was time for David to become king, he first of all became the king of Judah. One over twelve. Just one tribe. It was, precept must be upon precept. It's a must. That's how God designed life. It's a process. That's why, look, you want God to make you, a, you want to become everything at once. It's not going to be like that. You have to be faithful at every phase, no matter how small. If your salary now is 20,000, be faithful. Stop taking more than you can swallow. In my early days, when I, I got things were not working like this, there are things I don't move near. Because it will be unfaithfulness to move near it. It will be unfaithfulness to move near it. Be faithful. Do you know that in this Lagos, you can live on 20,000 naira? Per month, and you will not enter trouble. 